Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add slider to Wix website. Before we start, hurry up and check out other so for just under this video. So let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do here is we need to access our website editor. In this case, go to Wix.com, log in into your account, and access your Wix website editor here. In this case, what we need to do is we need to add a section to add a slider. So in this case, go ahead and scroll down a bit here and look for a section or a divider and see here. Let's go ahead and click on add section. Now from here, let's go ahead and add a blank section since we want to add a place for our slider. Now what we need to do next is we need to access a specific website to start adding our slider. So in this case, it's going to be our elf site. In this case, to access their official website, just type in elfsite.com. So you should be able to see it here. And from here, it is recommended that you create your account or log in into your account. In this case, once you've created your account or logged in into your account, go ahead and click on widgets. And under widgets, what we need to do is we just need to type in slider. Press on enter and you should be able to see different sliders that you could add for your website. Now, in this case, we want to use the ordinary slider here. In this case, what we need to do next is we need to choose the format that we want to use for our uh, account or for our widget here. So, for example, there's going to be different uh, type of uh, sliders here like video, products, gym, gallery, but we want to choose the store offers here. In this case, once you've uh, chosen your uh, specific format or template here that's going to click on continue with this template and you could even change these slides like for example if you want to edit this specific slide here you could go and click on edit and from here you could change the image itself just click on the uh, replace option here and choose the image they want to use they could also add links and even change the content itself and how it's currently laid out what is the title the text the buttons if they actually exist now, in this case, you can change or whatever here. You can even change the content overlay, advanced positioning as well. In this case, you also have the option here to uh, basically uh, to view the settings. But for now, to make our changes, just click on done on that specific slide. You can even add other slides if you want to. Just click on add slide here. Now, on the settings, you can change the width, the height, the paginations, arrows, and a lot more. So you also have the advanced here, which includes uh, adding custom CSS and custom JS here if you want to. But for now, let's go and click on add to website for free. And from here, what we need to do is we need to make sure that the changes that we made are actually correct. Now, so for now, let's go and click on publish at the top right here. And the great thing about Upside is they have a free plan here that we could choose. So let's go and click on select on the free plan. And let's go and click on copy code. Now from here, let's go and go back into our website editor. Click on the add elements option here. And from here, click on the embed code and go to embed HTML. Now from here, let's go and paste our code here and that should actually apply itself on our website. So if you see this specific error here, it is recommended that you go back into your uh, code section here, uh, delete that, paste your code again, click on update to uh, apply those changes and that should actually fix the whole look for your uh, widget here. In this case, what you need to do is you just need to resize your section here. As you can see, it might be kind of big. So in this case, I'll go ahead and make sure that it actually fits. But in this case, you could just basically start editing it and make sure it actually fits your website. And you should be good. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.